Step into a world of decentralized power with Flare Networks. The future is here. Welcome back, Flare fam. It's another Sunday fun day, and I'm here to share the latest news and updates within Flare Networks. Let's go. To start off with, I want to discuss what an API is, also known as Application Programming Interface. Then I want to talk about zero knowledge proofs with you guys. Um, after that, we want to go into Solidify and an XDC bridge. And finally, I want to discuss Ignis Finance, and we'll go into a lot of detail with that one. Okay, so let's get started with the APIs. So that's Application Programming Interface. It's a set of rules and protocols that defines how software components should interact with each other. APIs allow different applications to communicate and exchange data with each other, even if they are written in different programming languages or run on different platforms. An API typically consists of a set of software routines, protocols and tools that developers use to build software applications. APIs can be used to access and manipulate data, perform operations on remote servers, integrate with third-party services and more. APIs can be categorized into different types, including web APIs, operating system APIs and programming language APIs. Web APIs are typically used for web-based applications and allow developers to access resources over the internet using HTTP or other web protocols. Operating system APIs are used to interact with the underlying operating system, while programming language APIs are used to interact with specific programming languages or frameworks. A couple of weeks back, there was a demonstration by Flare Networks in Tokyo, and I just want to show you a clip of Joshua Edwards, who's a software engineer and the director of products at Flare Networks. And he talks a little bit more about APIs within the network. So here goes. The API portal has a suite of web-free APIs specifically tailored to Flare's multi-chain future and vision. The API portal enables applications, exchanges, wallets, and other web-free professionals to deliver a multi-chain application. APIs are available for all of Flare's chains, explorers, and connected chains, giving high performance, secure, and interoperable access. Partnerships with key Web2 cloud marketplaces, such as Google Cloud, are already in place to provide institutional grade API access to leading businesses and organizations. We currently have APIs available for Flare's mainnet, the Songbird Canary Net, and our test networks, Costin and Costin2. We also have APIs available for our connected chains currently Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, XRPL, Algorand, and Ethereum. It's our promise to add every API, every network, which Flare integrates with in the future. Over the next few years, we expect to see over 100 web-free APIs integrated. There's currently no other web-free API provider in the world that offers this many network APIs in one place. And remember, they'll all be added and integrated into the world's leading cloud provider marketplaces. Well, that was a marvelous speech from Josh Edwards. Um, I just want to reiterate that he mentioned over the next few years, over a hundred web-free APIs are going to be integrated into Flare Networks. Uh, it's important to realize that no other entity is doing this um, and they promise to add every single API to the network, which reiterates their ethos, connect everything. Right, let's discuss zero knowledge proofs. So a zero knowledge proof or ZKP is a cryptographic protocol that allows one party to prove to another that a given statement is true without revealing any other information beyond the truth of that statement. In a zero knowledge proof, the prover convinces the verifier that a statement is true without providing any additional information. The verifier can be certain that the statement is true but does not learn anything else about it. This is achieved by using complex mathematical algorithms that allow the prover to provide evidence that the statement is true without revealing any of the underlying data that supports it. 
One example of a zero knowledge proof is proving possession of a secret key without actually revealing the key itself. Another example is proving that a graph is too colorable without revealing the colors of the nodes. Zero knowledge proofs have a wide range of applications, including in authentication, data privacy, and blockchain technology. They are considered a powerful tool for protecting privacy and maintaining security in digital transactions. So how does this apply to Flare Networks, I hear you ask? Well, the Flare Network does support the use of zero knowledge proofs to enhance privacy and security in its smart contract platform. Flare is designed to be an interoperable network that can connect different blockchain platforms and enable them to interact with each other seamlessly. The network uses a ZKP-based solution called FAsset to enable the issuance of trustless representations of assets from other chains. FAsset allow users to create wrapped versions of assets from different blockchains such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin and use them within the Flare network smart contracts. ZKPs are used in FAsets to ensure that the wrapped assets are fully backed by the original assets without revealing any sensitive information about the assets or their owners. This helps to ensure the integrity of the wrapped assets and the security of the network as a whole. In addition to FAsets, Flare is also exploring other ZKP solutions such as ZK Rollups and ZK Snarks to enable efficient and secure computation and data processing within a smart contract platform. So we have some awesome news here. Uh, this is from the CEO of Flare Networks, Hugo Fillion. He says, excellent news, Enosis Global. Bridging can involve substantial risk. Great to see testing happen on cost and first. And what this is in regards to is the Enosis team have managed to bridge successfully the Coston and Apophem networks, which is Flare Networks and XDC, also known as Zinfin. They say, come help us test the first bridge connecting Flare Networks and Zinfin networks and communities together. Please read this information to get started. And this is really great news. Uh, bridging XDC to uh, Flare Networks, it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's just incredible. This is, this is great for growth. Um, Flare Networks Guardian right there, congratulations. Let's connect everything. Let the bridges connect, congratulations team. Bravo. This is really fantastic news, so uh, well done guys. Um, I like to see this sort of thing happen. And going back to what Hugo was saying is that it's great to see testing happening on cost and first because that is risk mitigating. Uh, they, it's better to do testing on the testnet before the testnet, if that makes sense. That way uh, you can identify any potential hazards and get them rectified before everything goes live in public, which is amazing. And if you are interested in earning passive income and farming XDC, you want to get yourself the Solidify app. And they say right here in a tweet, it has been decided. At the end of April, we are bringing XDC to Solidify Web and Solidify Wallet. This way, you are ready to earn passive income through the upcoming XDC farming pools of Enosis Global once they become available. If you know anyone holding XDC, let them know. So there we have it. We have the availability coming at the end of this month, and that should be really exciting news to um, anybody who's interested in the XDC network and using farming uh, to generate income. So there's that one. Okay, so let's talk about Ignis Finance, which is a decentralized lending protocol. Uh, there's a passage here from Connect Everything newsletter, which came out uh, on March the 26th. And um, they basically talk about the ins and outs of Ignis Finance and its lending protocol. They also talk about um, what is possible to do, and they talk about uh, current issues. So uh, let's kick off with Ignis Finance, a lending protocol being built on Flare. Lending is effectively the business model of a traditional bank. One, depositors put their value in their accounts. Two, the bankers use the value to issue loans. Three, borrowers take out these loans and pay interest. Four, depositors are rewarded vast sums for allowing their fund to be loaned out. Um, actually, the depositors get shafted while the bankers hoard the rewards. That's why a trustless lending protocol like Ignis Finance is so valuable. The fat cat middlemen bankers with a capital W are taking out of the picture. W for Wellington Boots. 
The IGNA's Fine Arts Smart Contract manages the delicate balance of interest rate calculations and any other decisions the men in suits would have, would have made, meaning all the rewards can be distributed to the community who actually deposit value into the system. Looking to the future, being built on Flair means Ignis Finance can be a whole of market. When Flair finally connects everything, users will connect their wallets to Ignis and start lending or borrowing. Imagine you are in a sideways market and holding Bitcoin, XRP and Doge. You know that your big payday is coming in the next bull run. It's a matter of when, not if. You see folk earning daily rewards on F projects or on Solana. It seems everyone is earning in this sideways market. The last thing you want to do is swap their coins and miss the gains from the coins you are actually passionate about. With Ignis on Flare, you will be able to use your diverse wallet and build your ideal DeFi portfolio. But what if Bitcoin crashes and I lose all from a loan liquidation, we hear you cry. Yes, there are risks to using assets as loan collateral or participating in liquidity pools, and you should definitely do what's right for you. However, volatility is smoothed on Flare because of the FTSO price data feeds. Other networks use price data feeds from centralized exchanges where suspicious candle wicks wipe out stock losses, the type of price feeds that could trigger loan liquidations and a lot of pain. The Flare Time series on Oracle has a much smoother price data feed. This is achieved by the decentralized signal provider system where a median price is agreed on assets by, by multiple parties. In short, if a few exchanges have crazy flash crashes, the data is less likely to find its way into the FTSO price feed and harm your DeFi positions in Ignis Finance. Summarized hype for hype's sake. When Flare connects everything, the whole crypto market can bring their assets to protocols like Ignis Finance and earn without losing exposure to the tokens they love. The FTSO will make lending protocols on Flare and Solver the safest place in DeFi. When the floods of token holders bring their value to this ecosystem, SGB and Flare tokens will be used as collateral, pumping our bags to the moon. We won't be selling these bags and giving half our gains to the tax man. We will be taking out loans on Ignis Finance and living off debt, Trumpy Bezos style. And I love that right at the end, Trumpy Bezos style. Well, there you have it, folks. What can I say? They, uh, this is Connect Everything newsletter. They're allowed to hype about these sorts of products. Um, but yeah, let, let's see the development of it. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to be showing you exactly what their white paper says. Despite the fact there's a few sections missing, I did reach out to the, uh, the founder of Ignis Finance, and he's a very nice chap. Um, but he's unfortunately not allowed to disclose any information as of yet. No insider info that, um, that he can tell us. But what I can go off is by what's on the website and what's on the white paper. So let's have a little dive into that one. Okay, so let's take a look at their website. So it says, first off, when you go onto Ignis Finance, I'm through a web-free browser on Bifrost, a partner of Flare Networks. It says supplied liquidity, $100 million. Supply, borrow, and own. All on Ignis's suite of yield generating DeFi protocols. Algorithmic liquidity market. Effortlessly supply, borrow, and earn interest on your digital assets. Staking. Stake IGS on Ignis staking protocol and freely utilize it within powerful decentralized finance applications. IGS is going to be their native currency. So you say $100 million supplied on an algorithmic liquidity market. Total supply for each of these is $100,000. Songbird, Ripple, Binance USD, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Tether, USDC, uh, DAI, IGS, Tether, USD coin. So they're integrating a lot already. Uh, this, this looks like it's lining up to be something great so far. They have the community page here, which uh, allows you to connect to all their socials. Um, you cannot click on earn or staking yet because it hasn't launched, um, but you can go on the docs. And the docs here will basically, this is their, their equivalent to the white paper. Um, so I'll just go into this a little bit. It says users can easily lend, borrow and earn interest with their digital assets thanks to the IGNIS liquidity market, Ignis. 
uh, the, their protocol. Borrowers can borrow with excessive collateral while depositors who provide the protocol with liquidity receive yield. Why Ignis? With Ignis Finance, we will be able to offer DeFi services such as lending and more, not only to the users of the Flare network, but also other cryptocurrencies such as XRP and Litecoin. This is a key feature that will separate Ignis Finance from other lending protocols. We believe in this approach and will also be able to bring in users from other areas into the Flare network. With the help of the Flare network, we can help build an interoperable DeFi space for everyone. With Ignis Finance, there are no middlemen and funds are secured through the use of smart contracts. Ignis Finance's decentralized lending and borrowing market will allow users to instantaneously add liquidity and remove it from shared liquidity market with no centralized middleman. Utilize their assets as collateral to instantly borrow money from our liquidity market and be able to view the interest rates at any given moment in time for each asset offered on Ignis Finance. Because our platform is built using smart contracts, there are no credit checks, and the platform is readily available to use by anyone who has a MetaMask wallet. We believe in a free, open, and date decentralized world where everyone can have fair access to the same financial tools. I absolutely love that, because a lot of people do not have access to financial tools to be able to grow their capital. When lending, or putting, when lending or putting up collateral, your crypto goes into the Ignis Finance smart contracts and can be taken out when you choose. So it's quite similar to Paglin or Enosis. So yeah, um, there's quite a lot of information here. If you want to have a look yourself, I will leave the links in the comment uh, in the uh, description below. And it will be really useful to have a read through all of this. There's a, there's a huge wealth of information here. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. I'm not going to read every part of this uh, white paper because we'll be here all day. But yeah, um, this is something to marvel at. I'm, I'm really quite interested to see how this one develops because uh, like I mentioned earlier with the Connect Everything newsletter, um, there is some really cool features that you can use this for and the more they connect with other APIs and other protocols, uh, the, the more the ecosystem can grow. So yeah, fantastic news. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap things up now, just like I do with my Flare. I'm all Cloud, and it's been a pleasure to bring you all the news and updates to Flare Networks. And if you have any queries, chuck me a comment below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Uh, please give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again for the next one. Bye, have a beautiful time.